Today, we're going to talk about FPV drones. Hi guys, welcome to the video. Glad you're able to join me. Hope you're doing well. If you're new around here, my name is Mike. If you're a returning viewer, my name is still Mike, but you would have known that already. So I've been getting some questions regarding what rules FPV pilots need to follow. So we're gonna talk through some of them and I'm gonna to touch briefly on FPV drones for those who don't know what they are. Then we'll dig into what you need to know to fly one legally in Canada. So first off, for those of you who don't know what FPV is, it stands for first person view. In other words, you as the pilot see exactly what the camera sees. So if you bank to the left, the picture will tilt as well because the camera is solidly mounted to the drone. Here is my son's five inch drone. As you can see, the camera is mounted with no gimbal, unlike my camera drones. Now this particular drone also has no GPS chip in it. That means if you let go of the control sticks during flight, it won't necessarily stay in one spot. FPV drones do not hover like camera drones do. During flight, the pilot wears goggles and gets to see the camera feed. These are the DJI version of FPV goggles. As you can probably tell, they would wrap right around the pilot's head completely blocking their vision. So this is where a bit of the confusion comes from, and we'll talk through that in just a minute. You can get some pretty cool shots with one of these drones though. I'd like to thank Stefano Rinaldo for providing the FPV footage you are currently watching. So now that we all have a very, very basic understanding of FPV drones, we'll cover some of the rules for Canadian airspace. Now keep in mind, as of this recording, there are no specific rules for FPV drones. That might come at some point in the future, but right now, there's nothing. So most FPV drones weigh over the 250 gram limit. So you'll need to register the drone just like any other. You will also need to get, at the very least, your basic pilot's license. So now we're going to get into the confusing part. Technically, when you're flying an FPV drone, you automatically fly beyond visual line of sight, just due to the fact that you wear goggles. Which, if you read the rules on the surface, it means you need to apply for and receive your SFOC before each flight. I did cover SFOCs in a different video. I'll leave the link in the description below and right up here if you want to watch that after you're done this one. However, the way I read the rules, if your visual observer can see the drone without visual aid, you're good to fly. According to Canadian Gazette Part 2, Volume 153, Number one, Division three, General Operating and Flight Rules. Under the Visual Line of Sight heading, Rule 901.11, Subsection 1. Subject to Subsection 2, no pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system unless the pilot or a visual observer has the aircraft in visual line of sight at all times during flight. Now that coordinating conjunction or is how you are able to legally fly FPV drones in Canada. If you're curious, subsection two just states what you need to do if you cannot keep your drone within the visual line of sight. It states you are legal to fly the drone if you apply for and receive an SFOC before takeoff. So hopefully, 
That answers a, a few of the questions regarding legal flight of FPV drones in Canadian airspace. If I did provide you with some value, please consider subscribing if that's something you're into. Share this video with a friend who you think might get some value from it. On your way out of the video, if you don't mind, click or tap one of the thumbs, preferably the one pointed in the upwards direction. And remember, you can follow Gradient Imaging on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But until next time, bye bye